welcome back to the Remote Darts League. I'm Richard Ashdown, and I'm joined by two more excellent players here. Crocodile Dundee, Paul Hogan, and the warrior Wes Newton. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening, Rich. It's good to see you both. Now, you are rekindling a rivalry, well, at least memories of a match on the last World Championship at the Lakeside, January 2019. Yeah, it didn't go too well for me that time. <laughs> It went well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just a word on that match, Wes. I mean, you, that was your Lakeside debut. Despite all of your big stage experience, it, it was your debut in the Lakeside World Championship. That was not an easy draw to get in a prelim, was it? No, it was a tough draw, to be honest, as well. Obviously, Paul's a great player. He's been around a long time. He's, um, you know, he's very much experienced. But um, I've grown up watching the Lakeside, obviously. And um, you know, I've never played there. I've not done much of the BDO tour before that, to be honest. So uh, getting there was a, a big thing for me. I, and when I got on the stage, I was really nervous, surprisingly. It's just one of them things. I've obviously grown up with darts and um, I've, I've watched the Lakeside since being six or seven or something stupid like that. Oh, well, you must have been watching Paul then when he made his debut in 1995. <laughs> yeah, must have been, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we call it the home of world darts for a reason, don't we, Paul? When we go from talks of the lakeside to our own homes, this is totally different. Isn't yeah, it? You seem to be enjoying it so far. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm if if I if I can hit me doubles like last night, I might be all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, you're I'm enjoying, beaten, enjoying a couple enjoying, of draws. Enjoying, yeah, two draws and a win. I was happy to get to get the win last night, and uh, hopefully, I'll, I can get one against Wes again. For you, Wes, it's been more of a mixed bag—a win, a loss, and a draw. So, it, when it when you're on, you're really on. Yeah, it's it's, it's, uh, it's a bit strange, but uh, I've had, like you said, I've had a win, a draw, and a loss. So, uh, I give myself a good talking to after last night's game, but uh, see what tonight brings. That's a whole history, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, let's let the darts do the talking. We'll get you two warmed up as we have a refresher of what's happened and what's still to come. We've seen convincing wins already this evening for Tony O'Shea, 7 2 over Dean Win Stanley, and for James Richardson. That brilliant performance there, 7 1. Well, over yeah, you get some practice in, Paul. You're free to go now. Get yourselves warmed up. Uh, coming up after this match, Two more great games to look forward to. Daryl Fitton takes on Jim Williams, the man that was top of the league. He's been overtaken by James Richardson. Could be temporary, we don't know yet. And the final match of the evening, we'll see Big Robbo, Gary Robson, taking on Alan Chuck Norris. But here we have a three-time Lakeside World Championship quarter finalist in Paul Hogan, taking on a man that's reached major finals with the UK Open, the European Championship, in Wes Newton. Best of 12 legs as always. First man to seven for the win. Could be a 6-6 six, six draw. Both of these players have already experienced those. And once the practice starts are over, if you're all set, Paul, it's going to be you yeah, to I'll throw see. first. All the best, Paul. All the best, guys. So first leg, it's Paul to throw first. Game on. Eighty. Eighty-five. One hundred forty. Sixty. One hundred. One hundred. 
61. Pull requires 121. I'm doing 21 in three darts. Brilliant start, Paul Hogan. Treble 20, 25, double 18, 1 0. Second leg, it's Wes to throw first. Fifty-eight. One hundred seventy-seven. One two one finish, followed by one seven seven. Sixty. Ninety-five. One hundred and thirty-five. Seventy-eight. Wes requires one hundred and forty-nine. Fifty-nine. Paul requires ninety-one. Oof. 81. Wes requires 90. Mm -hmm. 30. Paul, you require 10. 10 in one dark. Aim shot on the second leg to Paul Hogan. Third leg, it's Paul to throw first. One hundred and forty. One hundred and eighty. Beautifully called. First of the match. One hundred. West requires eighty four. Sixty two. All you require eighty. Sixty. Where's you require twenty two? How's it Will you require twenty? Twenty in two darts. Game shot and the third leg to Paul Hogan. Fourth leg, Wes, to throw first.
30. One hundred and twenty five. Fifty seven. Ninety five. Sixty. Sixty. Hundred and forty. Forty three. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Where do you require one hundred and thirty? Eighty-one. All you require ninety four. Eighty four. Weight requires forty nine. Twenty nine. Will you require ten? Turning one dart. The game shot and the fourth leg to Paul Hogan. Oh. Number five once again. Fifth leg, it's Paul to throw first. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. One hundred and eighty. First one eighty of the match for Paul Hogan. Eighty five. Ninety-seven. Twenty-three. Paul, you require eighty-four. Fifty-two. Paul, you require 32. 32, one dot. Game shot and the fifth leg to Paul Hogan. Sixth leg, Wes to throw first. 61. One hundred. Forty three. Twenty one. Nineteen. 
96. One hundred and eighty. Eighty number two for Paul, the third in the match. Forty five. All you require one hundred and fifty five. Ninety five. Weight requires one hundred and forty two. Fifty-five. Would you require sixty? Sixteen two darts. Game shot and the sixth leg to Paul Hogan. Seventh leg is Paul to throw first. One hundred. One hundred and eighty. Third one eighty for Hogan. One hundred. Eighty one. Fifty five. All requires one hundred and forty. Forty two. Sixty. All you require ninety eight. Oh, God. Sixty six. Forty four. Paul, you require 32. 32 and three darts. It's game shot and the match to Paul Hogan. Well, gentlemen, that's not a score like I don't think any of us were expecting, you two included. Wes, I'm, I'm sure you just want to turn off your camera right now, but if you can just catch <laughs> Uh, one, so frustrating for you. My way. Oh, look, I mean, the match starts off, Paul absolutely blazing, 180 and a 1-2-1 one, one out. But I think there was a key moment early on for you with the four missed starts at double 11. Yeah, I mean, I was never going for it and I changed my mind at last minute. <laughs> like, you do, stupid, innit? But, uh, yeah, third and fourth leg, I threw away on doubles um, again. But, yeah, after that, just yeah. just little things weren't going my way, bounce outs at the wrong times and... But, you know, Paul, Paul played really well, scored well and finished well, so he deserved the win. I mean, I've not played at the level you guys have played at, but I guess the, the frustration creeps in and you get more and more uptight. And, and conversely, Paul, for you, you, you seem to get more and more relaxed as the match went on. Yeah, I'm, sco I'm scoring well. As as Wes said there, there was a couple of legs, three, three, three legs there. He missed, he missed a few, few, few doubles and... Uh, 
I I done that last night against Steve, but uh, I I didn't expect to beat him seven 0 to be honest. <laughs> a, a fine performance from you. A one two one check out the one seven seven score. The three one eight is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, to win seven 0 against Wes, you know, brilliant. Well done, Paul. Now, Cheers, yeah, Wes. the thing is, Wes. This is a league. You have points on the board already. You have more to gain. Tomorrow, you take on Alan Norris. Yeah, it's just take each game at a time, isn't it? There's two points available each game, so uh, just keep going. I, I did. No, I, I was practicing really, really well tonight, and uh, you know I felt really good. So hopefully, it'll, it'll come in a game one of these times. <laughs> but yeah, just keep going. Tomorrow. See what happens. And Paul, a mouth-watering clash set up for you tomorrow where you take on Jim Williams. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bogey. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah, I, I, beat, I beat him once. Uh, this It was this year at the Dutch, the Dutch Open. That's the first, first time I've ever beaten him. And to be honest, I shouldn't have won that one, to be honest. He missed a lot of That's doubles. That's not a bad place there. to beat him, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Jen, Jen, thank you for sticking around and having a chat with us. Uh, commiserations this evening, Wes. Uh, congratulations to Paul. A big win there, the 7-0. Uh, we're going to see you both tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. And we continue here at the Remote Darts League. Our next match coming up is that man we've just mentioned, the Quiff, Jim Williams, and he takes on the Dazzler, Daryl Fitton. Thanks, Richard.